For almost 20 years, fighters from a rebel army waged war on northern Uganda. They murdered families, destroying homes, burning crops and abducting children to fight as soldiers. The conflict forced 1.8 million people from their homes and farms. The story of 16 families in Barkowatch village, Berlonia, is a story of survival and hope. In 2004, rebels attacked Barlonia in one of the last atrocities of the war. Before the attack, people were already homeless. Many had been living in a makeshift camp, hoping that the army would protect them. Living conditions were horrendous. You are one bit walker, got a one watch and watch a camp. On February 21st, 2004, the rebels killed over 300 mothers, fathers and children. One of those people was Milton Okello's wife, Millie. They had six children. Get a mat when the war was over, traumatized families moved back to their land, but everything had been destroyed. Thousands of young people struggled to cope with the memories of what they were forced to do as child soldiers. In 2006, Throkra's local partner, Fatpad, began working with the community of Barquatch to help them rebuild their lives as they moved back to their homes. Every family was struggling with its own pain, sorrow and trauma, which destroyed the community. Oh, when we first came from the camp, uh, we, we had many problems and the, the behaviors of the people were different. Now, when the papa came and gave us some, some direction and teaching, people are now in a good condition. Churches living together in a community working together uh, uh, borrowing things is now okay and we are seeing the the progress that the papa has given to us 
to make us know one or each other. My name is David and I'm working with the Facilitation for Peace and Development in short it is FAPAD. Um, we, have, we have been working with this community for the last five to six years and the local community here is just getting out of the LRA insurgency. Um, notably you can see down there in Bologna which where the massacre took place in 2004. As a result of the attack from the LRA rebel, the community went through a lot of traumatic experiences. And as a result of that ex uh, traumatic experiences, they were in their need of help or assistance. <laughs> Carmeo Gero, Nano Gino Kero, Kitueno. A manny young Gino de Kelwa, Nog the L, Yella Yell. Dang you with you, you know. Tier Unugin, a medal to Chacon and no don't you come, you may bar here. Carme Barredo don't you caution, the deal, the deal, Chadu don't you, to bed and no. I wore my chain with an end on Gina Metachak of Vino for a bear. Kita made one and no care in him. Pian Mamma Chalavala Punya don't know. May I your Punya Medon, my papa do better cut to care, eh? Making young men, my Punya Lord, a poly. No, the Punya wanted you quan you. Ye copia. Me were better care, Junior Tech. Yang kau nena, kerem nu tiap berpuanya kerem, puane karame gini nu tiap ti mana jodoh wujud tiap balat ata. The community now share oxen to plough their farms. This will make an enormous difference to how much families can grow and harvest from their land. They also got a borehole to get clean water. As a community, Barco Watch needed support not only to rebuild their farms, but to rebuild their lives. We started with by, first of all, empowering their local community. And by that, we, we formed them into groups where we carry out civic trainings. And the civic trainings, we, there are key issues or key elements that we try to handle or to talk with our local communities. We are trying to address with them since the LRA attack, attack this place, and we are all affected by it, what can we do now? Should we all sit down and keep crying? Or should we just kneel down and pray to God and wait for some miracle to happen? Or we wake up as a community and try to do something about it? With the support of a community, families can do more than just survive and cope. Mothers like Betty and Helen can begin to make plans for a future and their children's future. It is good because we are working together and working together it makes us progress.